Dwayne here at phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to look at the IBM Wheel Rider typewriters. This happens to be a Wheel Rider 5. So this was made in about 1985. Way back. It's pretty old for typewriter. But they use it. They use it every, I wouldn't say every day, but they use it pretty regular. And uh, finally the keyboard has broke after 35 years or 30 years or whatever that's been. So we're going to show you how you know your keyboard is bad. So let's, I've already taken the case off, I'm going to take this lid off, it's already off pretty much. And I'm going to take this keyboard out, I'm going to take it out all the way, which involves just redoing the, undoing the, the connection right here pull up on these two side connections and pull these two cables out. This cable's got to come off over here, it's just for the LED lights. Then this will pivot up. Then you need to manipulate it out of these corner. Each corner has a, a little stud in here. And when you flip it up, you can just grab underneath here and push it out and rock it out like that so it's got it's got a little connection here and a little pivot here on both sides and that's you can get that keyboard out there I'm going to move this out of the way so now we got the keyboard in hand so this this piece will come off pretty easy just comes off with that latch and that latch and this piece will come off like that and now we got it down to the core but the way to tell that this is bad and I have a when these flex cables go bad I have a repair for for that but this is separated so if you flip this over You'll see all these little black dots in here. Let me turn this light off so we get some less glare. These hold the keyboard together. That's missing one there. It's missing one there, there. And all these are missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All these up here in the front. That's probably the most stress. That's why I usually see those snapping off first. When that does that, it separates the keyboard. And actually, turn the light back on here so we can see. You'll see there's a gap right here. If you squeeze this together, it goes back together. So it's what they call separated. You can actually see right inside of here. So if it was good, it wouldn't be flush right here. See that? That's just all separated. When it's separated, these buttons don't work. They don't. If you're really quiet, you can hear the, uh, these IBMs have the little clicky. So that button's working, but if you come back up here and you press these, that one's got a click, no click, no click, no click, no click, click. So these are not making contact at all because it's separated. <clears throat> the only fix to this is to send this off and have it rebuilt. But they separate it and they put whole new uh, assemblies in it. And then it comes back like new. We can tell how old this is. It's got a date on here. 87, I was wrong, it's 87, so it's just 30 years old. I'm sure this is the original keyboard, it lasted 30 years. So that's an IBM Wheel Rider keyboard that has separated. And it's got to be sent off to be rebuilt. Alright, video of the day, Phoenix Typewriter, good day.